from swap time. I'm going to show you today a couple of fans that you can use for your Gen 5 swaps. Both of these have outrunner brushless brush motors, so they're very powerful. This one right here is out of a 2016 newer Camaro SS. These measure, we trim them down a little bit, remove the extra tabs. So this will measure 22 inches wide by 21 inches tall. So this works in uh, Jeeps and most cars. This one's a lot wider. I'll measure this one. It's roughly 34 inches by 19. These will work in newer trucks like my OBS over there. Uh, this, this right here is a little short, so this will not work. So I'm using the Camaro fan. Now, I found this signal generator so I can test these fans and show you how powerful they are. That's the best part. These are very powerful and there's no relays. So I have both of them hooked up to this battery. Um, you see your power connection here. There is a fuse. I have an 80 amp fuse I always use, but no relays. It uses just a signal wire, so very easy. Right now, We'll go ahead and test out these truck fans. Plug it in right here. So if you want to get a good angle on this. So this is the, a really nice feature of these fans. They come on nice and gentle. There's no voltage spike. And really, most of the time, this is about all that's needed to keep your engine cool. But what's crazy, let me get to that same spot, is how powerful this is. Let me get set. I'm not sure how well it picked up on camera. It's about half power, and it's moving a good amount of air. turn completely off but a lot of airflow very quiet so these fans come on 2014 and newer GM pickups um, each fan has a built-in controller so they have their own power and they basically daisy chain to a, a single PWM control wire so now we're going to try the Camaro SS fan that thing has some serious horsepower to it uh, be very careful. These blades carry a lot of momentum and they're they're very stout. They will cut your finger off. No problem. I've uh, hurt myself pretty bad one time as one was powering down. Cut me to the bone. Okay. So this is about 15% power, really great airflow already.
roll back about 20%. Really, this is what it usually runs just to keep it cool and idle. You don't need a whole lot to get great airflow. So they're very, very uh, power efficient. They last a long time because they're brushless. So let's turn this off. And uh, I sell both of these plug and play harnesses for these bands. Um, I've upgraded the wiring so th this is now an 8 gauge power set. Um, right now this is just for testing. This is a uh, 12 gauge which isn't enough. So I use 8 gauge on this. Then I, I follow um, factory specs on this. So this is 12 gauge um, for each fan. And uh, it works very well. And then I always include a fuse. And I just bolt it down to the stud and bolt it to there. Now, the other options for fans, uh, if you have a brushed fan, you can use a controller. So down, down there is the controller and this is a, out of a SS sedan car. I found a good deal on these, but these don't move any near the amount of air those others do. So you can control the older fans. But Gen 5s do not control the on-off signal by a sole, uh, relay. So you have to use some type of controller for best success. Um, the GM, since 2016, most of their fans are PWM. So you, I just find vehicles and test them. A Chevy Colorado fan is almost twice the size of that. It's huge. It really won't fit anything but uh, H1 Hummers. Um, again, these are Silverados. So I'm always, I'm always trying different fans to find different sizes that fit. But I just want to show you how these fans operate, how easy it is. Um, this is a controller I got from eBay. You can buy these if you want them. They're only $10. Um, I've never been able to find anything till last week and it worked great to control the fans um, without me having to hook it to the computer because sometimes you can't control these um, unless you have like a snap-on scanner or something HP tuners won't always do it but it, that little controller worked great and again these are the harnesses I sell and those are some basic dimensions of your fans So thanks for watching and uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.